Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth, your mathematics teacher. Mathematics is all about numbers, right? You learned about numbers in your smaller classes. Now, we'll be learning some more about numbers. Our first chapter is large numbers. Can you see what is in my hand? This is a dice. Here, in each of his sides, there are particular number of dots. Here we have one dot, here two, three, and so on we have up to six dots. Let me represent these dots with digits. In this chapter, you will be learning up to six digit numbers. Children, this is the mind map in this video. Here, large numbers, and the last numbers, we are going to learn about five and six digit numbers, the successor and predecessor of numbers, and comparison of numbers. In comparison of numbers, we will learn how to form greatest and smallest numbers. And under five and six digit numbers, we will be learning how to represent numbers on a place value chart and its expanded form and also how to read and write those numbers. All of you might be familiar with four digit numbers, right? Now, we'll be learning the place value chart of five digit numbers. Here I have shown the place value chart of five digit number, which has one spirit and thousand spirit. Under one spirit, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, and 10,000. Here I have given an example. This is 51736. Here we have to divide it with using comma. Here we have one period up to 100 and we are placing the comma here. So we are dividing the number depending on its period. The expanded form of this number is 50,000 plus 1,000 plus 700 plus 30 plus 6. And how will you read this number? This is 51,736. Now we'll move on to the place value chart of 6 digit numbers. Here for 6 digit number there is one more box extra. What is that? It's lakhs. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand and lakh. Here I've shown an example. We'll divide it using the period. Here we have ones period and thousands period and lakhs. How will you read this number? This is four lakh twenty-five thousand. 673 and this is the expanded form of the number it is 4 lakh plus 20,000 plus 5,000 plus 600 plus 70 plus 3 and remember when you read a number if 0 is coming in between you just skip the period children do you know what is face value and place value I know that you have uh, studied this in smaller classes. Face value is nothing but the digit itself. And what is place value? Place value is the digit multiplied with the value of its place in the number. Here, I'm going to explain the face value and place value with an activity. Children, I have some number cards with me here. This is 2, 30, 500, 6,000, 90,000 and 8 lakh. Here I am placing 2 above 30. Now can you read this? It's 32. It's easy, right? Now 32 I am placing above 500. What is this? 532. Now again I am placing the whole numbers above 6,000 and it has become 6532 now 
again I am placing this above 90,000. Now can you read this? This is 96,532. This is 5 digit number. I am placing above a 6 digit number. Now what is this? 8,96,532. Here what are the place values? Place, it is the digit multiplied with the value of its position in the number. Now face value doesn't change right? Face value of 2 is 2, face value of 3 is 3, face value of 5 is 5, face value of 6 is 6, face value of 9 is 9 and face value of 8 is 8. When we come into place value, it's easy. The number itself, 2, it is in ones, so 2 into 1 is 2. Here, 30, it is in tens period. So here, 3 into 10, that is 30. So the place value of 3 is 30. Now, what is the place value of 5? 5 is in hundreds place. So 5 into 100, that is 500. So the place value of 5 is 500. Now, when we come to 6, 6 is in thousands place. So the place value of 6 is 6,000. Similarly, place value of 9 is 90,000 and place value of 8 is 8 lakh. Now we will move on to another topic that is successor and predecessor of a number. What is successor of a number? It is a number that comes just after it. So what is successor of 1? It is 2. Successor of 5? It's 6. So when it comes to larger numbers, what we have to do? We have to just add 1 to it. So here I have a number. It is 72,089. When we add 1 to it, it becomes 72,090. And when we move on to predecessor of a number, it is the number that comes just before it. So what is predecessor of 20? It's 90. Predecessor of 100? It's 99. So here I have a larger number. It is 35,72,400. When we subtract 1 from it, we get 35,72,400. 399. Hope you all understood this. We will move on to another topic that is comparison of numbers. Why do we compare two numbers? We have to just see which number is greater and which is lesser. Here I have some larger number. Can you count how many digits are here? Here there are six digits. Here also six digits. So how will you compare just see the first digit of each of the numbers. Here it is 3, here it is 8. So we know that 3 is less than 8, right? So obviously this number is less than the other number. So I am giving another example. Here did you notice that the starting digit is same? Though the total number of digits in both the numbers are same. But the starting digit is diff is same. So, what we have to do is look into the other number. Here it is 5, here it is 2. Is 5 greater than 2? Yes. So, 5 is greater than 2. So, this number is greater than another number. This is how we will compare two numbers. Children, you all will be familiar with ascending and descending order, right? What is ascending order of a number? Arrangement of number from smallest to largest is called ascending order. And descending order is arrangement of numbers from largest to smallest. Here I have an example. Here I have 84,192. Here 5,487. Here 84,610 and here I have 8,97,431. So in all these numbers which is the largest number? The number which is in 6 digits is largest. 
So I have written this first, 8,97,431. And again, we have two five-digit numbers, right? So how will we know which is greater? Here I have 8 and here 8. Here 4, again 4. Look into the next number. Here I have 1 and here I have 6. Which is greater? 6 is greater than 1. So obviously this number is greater than the other number. So we have 84,610 first and next 84,192. And next we have only one four digit number which will be the least among all. It is 5487. So this is the descending order of all these numbers. And when we move on to the ascending order, this comes first, this second, this third and this at last. And we will be learning how to form greatest and smallest numbers. Here I have some numbers. It is 1, 6, 7, 2 and 8. So how will we form greatest and smallest number? You have learned what is ascending and descending order, right? So it will be easy for you. To form greatest number, you write the given numbers in descending order. So I have written 8 first, then 7, then 6, then 2 and 1. So I have got the greatest number among all the digits. Here, how will we form the smallest number? It is nothing but the ascending order of all the numbers. So here I have 1, 2, 6, 7, 8. So this is how we will form greatest and smallest number using few numbers. Thank you.